six series, three star-studded cast, multiple awards later, it's time for Netflix Smash the Crown Oof. to make its final curtsy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but not before welcoming some fresh new faces as the younger royals, Harry William and Kate, make their mark. Having reviewed the data, the pollsters have now presented their findings. Asked if the royal family were out of touch with ordinary people. 53% said yes. Asked if they were wasteful of public money. If they lacked compassion. 62% 69% said yes. The boys need you now more than ever. I'm afraid we don't do fathers and sons very well in this family. Perhaps you don't like to be reminded how we got to this point. The Crown doesn't ask existential questions of itself. Perhaps it should. We're ready, ma'am. I mean, come on. <sighs> Joining us for the first of a daytime TV interview, Luther Thord, uh, Ed McVeigh and Meg Bellamy, a.k.a. Prince Harry, William and Kate Middleton. Morning, welcome. Hello, guys. thanks for having us. Oh, it's so you. good to see you Huge all. Huge congratulations. Thank you. Thank oh, you very so much. So iconic. Yeah. Yeah. It's really is. exciting. It's wild. It's, it's unbelievable. So, I mean, to come in to this show, uh, you know, at this epoch at the end, Sort of as young actors, being being sort of aware of of just how successful it's been, and just getting the role. I mean, let's all start how we got the roles and where we got the roles. Go yeah. on. Um, so it was an open casting call. So it was online. It was on um, social media, and my brother's girlfriend sent it to our like WhatsApp group chat. And I was studying film at the time, um, and I had no real plan to become an actor. You're just thinking, <laughs> Luther, just I'll give it a, give it a go. I thought they would have told me that. I'll give it a go. go. Come on. <laughs> but I didn't, I honestly didn't, I mean, obviously, I didn't expect anything to come from it. Mm. It was done on a total whim. Maybe that's why it went so well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the pressure like was off because there was like a certain naivety <laughs> and I was like, well, I mean, yeah. I'm hey. in the rope. <laughs> the worst that can happen. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a major breakout role, though, for you. Come on now. You were yes. still studying. It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I left Maybe. uni, kind of, <laughs> sort of. Yeah. And I uh, went and did it, and it was, um, it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Ed? I mean, because you were yeah, similar, I think me in the theatre at the time. Yeah, yeah, actually, I served you. Oh, oh great. Right. Oh, here we go. Do you not remember? I'm quite nervous now. Do you not remember me? What, 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 what where, where, where was it? Was well, he well in behaved? Cabaret. Well, well, with Cabaret. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, um, yeah, I, I served you, yeah, I served you your food. Oh, nice. You were lovely. Thank God for that. You were really lovely. You were really lovely. Um, but, yeah, I think we had a very similar um, casting experience. Yeah. Again, it was an open casting call. Um, but I was lucky enough to have an agent, which is great, out of drama school, which is not always a given. So I was yeah, very lucky like, to be in that situation. The first win, isn't it? Yeah. So it came through that. And then, yeah, first tape. And then, like, month again, you never think anything's going to happen because yeah. it's like, you know, thousands of people and everyone and their blonde haired, blue eyed brother is <laughs> <laughs> it's going, for, it's going for William. Yeah. So you just put it out there and then, you know, you see what happens. Then a month later, again, you come into a room and there's 15, 16 other much more William lookalikes than you think you are, and then another month goes by. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then it sort of carried on from there. But Meg and I first met at the read-through, mm. which is, that's when I think when it really kicked up a gear, yeah. was when we were brought in to read for Kate and Will halfway through the casting yeah. process. Oh, so you hadn't got the part? No, we hadn't, no, hadn't got no, the right. part. So we're there with, like, you know, Elizabeth Debicki, Jonathan Price, Amelda, Whoa. Dominic, Whoa. everyone, Whoa. the whole yeah. cast. They're right. in there while you yeah. haven't got everyone's, the part. Everyone's yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. So it's like, an audition, really. Yeah, essentially but... a two-day glorified audition. In with front all of some the, of the, all the finest producers. actors. How did yeah. you keep it together? I mean, the nerves must yeah. have yeah. wrapped up yeah. at that point. Yeah, 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 yeah big time. I mean, it was terrifying. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot. I think I had two days. The first day was reading the first half of the series, and William's in, a lot, in it a lot, but he doesn't say that much. Yeah. So I was able to get used to that room. And then the second day, I was very much like, this is the biggest room I've ever been in. Might be the last time I'm in a room like this, so I'm just going to leave it all out there. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And then, I mean, Sally must have gone right. Yeah. <laughs> and, Meg, where were you? Because I love this story. I know where you were. <laughs> when you got the call that you were going to be Kate yeah. Middleton. Yeah, be Kate. Tell us all. I was at Legoland Windsor. Yeah. Because um, I used to work in the entertainment department. And um, I was kind of mid-doing a show as, like, a costume character, mascot, giant snake. Very classic. Amazing! <laughs> it was great. And I was kind of expecting a call from Kate Bowen, our casting associate, 
has, there'd been some kind of positive emails, so I was kind of waiting. Um, and I knew she was calling me whilst I was like literally in this character. Um, and then I got a voicemail from her because I'd missed the call and it was like, no rush, but you know, um, like call me back. And obviously I <laughs> ran like, quite a big to like rush. the nearest the place out <laughs> of the park. And I um, yeah, took off the snake. <laughs> the snake um, and I went to this like delivery car park where all the like bin lorries are reversing. Yeah, and I amazing. sat on this curb, like trying to hear. And she was like, yeah, your life's about to change. Oh. Can I guess Kate? And then I had to go back in into the park and the first contact I had with someone was this woman like, I just get the queue's not working. And I was like, <laughs> no. oh no. Well, that's the best thing yeah. though, because it just awful. gives you that humility, like, okay. brings you right back down. At the time, Lisa's yeah. still like, I don't know if I've got yeah. the part on, I'm yeah. just having a good time. Yeah, to be on your best behaviour. I think yeah. we've got another clip as well. Hopefully. Yeah. Let's see some more. Oh gosh. <laughs> Do you know anyone there? Fergus Boyd, Ollie Chadwick Healy, Charlie Nelson. Anyone not from Eton? What about girls? <laughs> well, obviously, there are girls. Any, you know, woof? <laughs> are you for real? Are you for real, more like you frigid weirdo? <laughs> University is just sex with books. Get stuck in. Promise me you'll try not to be quite so. What? Uptight. Repressed, responsible, and boring. If you want to be treated like everyone else, you've got to act like everyone else. Oh, such a good scene. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, you guys are amazing. Had you ever been told before that you looked like your respective royals? Like, no, no, no. no. No, my mum specifically told me, <laughs> you're not going to get the part, you know, nothing like it. Thanks, mum. Yeah. 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 Luther, do you still need to be told you actually got the part? It's... I do, so I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, we all do. Needs to be I still don't buy it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> no, no, I don't. No. Lucky, lucky draw of the hat. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you're a bit younger than us guys. Do you... Um, Dad. Like, you've Dad. lived through these periods. Do you remember much of this as kids or not? No. Not really, no. No, no I mean, I think babies. we were, yeah, babies. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't alive when... Diana passed. Yeah. But I think in that there was kind of helpful. Definitely. Not having a like intrinsic mm. knowledge and understanding or a yeah. passionate feeling towards the characters at that time. So yeah. you're able just to look at the character on the page Black and just like, canvas a bit more. Mm. Figure it sure. out. Really. Yeah. And what about, I love the story of, and, Bar and I've, I've hosted like a couple of royal weddings now. Oh. Your royal weddings. And, oh, yeah. Our, our royal weddings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you get the Bible, <laughs> and the Bible is huge, right? So you have to, you know, you, I, I, I took, two, took two weeks off. I was just read, wow. did nothing but read about like royal wow. carriages and yeah. precedents and history and so wow. forth. You get a pack as well, right? Which, yeah. which it doesn't sound dissimilar. No, yeah, you get a big, big research pack um, with lots of books. Well, you get sent the books as well, but lots of. Um, Basically, they read everything. Yeah, like clippings. Yeah, What's and they'll basically cross-reference everything to do with the script and then basically, yeah, compile it into this document and then Which you... Which is interesting, because I, when, I, when I speak to actors, they're, they're sort of like... There's, there's sort of two ways that mates of mine sort of go about going part, which is either I want to read everything or want to read nothing. I don't right. want to just be faithful to that script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you yeah. prefer? It's a hard balance, isn't it, really? Yeah. I think it's a balance. Yeah. yeah I mean, definitely. you kind of can't do no research. Yeah. Because I suppose it's a funny in the sense that there is a right way to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, these definitely. Parts. Yeah. yeah. You know, obviously it's an interpretation. Yeah. And you're trying to just kind of capture, mm -hmm. like, hopefully an essence. But people have an idea of who these people are, so you sure. can't just do anything. But fundamentally, it is it is still a drama, yeah. and you have yeah. to. You're not doing a documentary of these people, and you need to. There is a characterization that goes yeah. into it, and like you say, you're trying to get an essence and not like a yeah, yeah. interpretation. So I think all we all need to remember when yeah. we're watching. Yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. I talked to you about it all day. I, I know. just want to ask about how you got into the, the characters. Yeah. You had a little technique, didn't you, with playing? Yes, William? yes, I had. Well, I just had the vo well, vocal technique. I mean, the. <laughs> you love this. <laughs> this is the first time you've heard this. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think with the voice, I had like a, um, a little. Um, and you can give it a go if you want. Uh, it's basically a sentence which is basically around the roundabout and down to Chile to play polo. Oh. And basically, how you'd say it is you'd change like the O to like, what was it, around? So O to our sounds. Oh. So it'd be like around the roundabout. Around the roundabout. And down to Chile. And down, down to, to Chile. Chile. To play polo. To play, play polo. polo. There you are. Uncanny. Oh, Absolutely that's sorted. This <laughs> <laughs> is uncanny. I mean, that's oh. much, better, really much, much right. better. Much better than I did it. <laughs> oh, listen, best of luck with it. Thank so you. lovely to meet you. Thank you, you all. so much. Can't wait Thank to watch you. it all. Well, Thank, Thank you. Yeah, Thank you enjoy so it.